X for this. All right, so right here you see from this vertex, you follow that line that's zero and it goes all the way to 180. The same thing on this side, you don't see the zero on this side, but you do see the 180 and it goes 10, 20 and they count them on the inside. All right, so what I wanna do now is make sure this is 90 degrees and I put it on here. And as you can see, what does that say? Can you see that at the top? It looks like 90 degrees. Is that 90 degrees? Yep. So 90 degrees. So that is a right angle. All right. So that's a right angle. All right. So what about an acute angle? It's smaller than 90 degrees. So we need to do it like this. And use a pencil so in case you mess up, you can erase. So this angle is smaller than 90. And so when I find the vertex and align it, it's going to give me somewhere around, that looks like around 20, so that's 25, that's 26, 27, looks like 28. Well, let's make sure. Yeah, that looks like 28. Does that look like 28, then y'all? Yeah, you notice. So I'm looking at the lines on the inside of the protractor, right? Because I know that it's less than 90. There's 90, and I know it's less than 90. So the, the number's on the outside, so it's not quite 30. It's actually 28. Do y'all agree with me on 28? 28, so you can see the other little one's 28. Okay, I see a lot of people private, private chairing me. So it's 28 degrees. And so what type of angle is this? Let's name the angle, acute angle. So you should have this in your binder. So the last one, well, the next to last one that we're gonna do is what's called an obtuse angle. And an obtuse angle is, is slanted. Well, it's not slanted, it's open wider than the right angle. Right? So the obtuse angle want to go something like that, right? And we can do it like that. All right? So what you need to do is find the vertex of your angle. And then since you, since you know that it's greater than the right angle, what you need to do is Use the which set of numbers, the ones on the inside or outside? You're going to use the set of numbers on the inside or the outside? Anybody? The inside. Absolutely. Who said that? Obtuse. Good job. Who said inside? Somebody else said. I said. Okay. Thank you. All right, so now we're looking at it and it looks like it's landed. So we notice the numbers are getting greater this way. We see 140 and it's right on the middle. It's right in the middle on that line. If I move it, there's the line. There it is right there. So this angle is about 145. It's about 145. Does everyone agree with that? That's yeah. About Huh? I just said. Okay. All right, and the last angle that I want you to make note of in your binder is a straight angle. All right, and the straight angle just goes straight. Is exactly what he said. It's a straight angle. Now, uh-oh. How many, who can tell me the measurement of a straight angle? 180 degrees. 180 degrees. All right. If you don't have your protractor, when you get your protractor, copy this down. This is going to build on what we've been talking about with shapes. And also, we're going to construct angle bisectors. All right. We're going to construct angle bisectors. So you're going to need to, you're going to need this foundational uh, skill.